I recently met with an incredible fellow podcaster named Shan Wright, and she has her own podcast called Holistic Moms. She is an incredible woman and teaches moms simple ways they can improve their holistic health. So I thought I'd have her on the show so that she can share some of those tips with us. You're not going to want to miss it. Hey parents, welcome to Fulfillment Therapy. Do you want to raise your kids better and have a stronger marriage? Are you up late at night researching marriage and parenting tools and self-care tips? Do you start each day hoping for deeper connections and less chaos, but it ends with family arguments and going 12 different directions again? My name's Kendra, wife, mom, therapist, and growth enthusiast. It wasn't until I discovered how to fulfill my unmet needs that I was finally able to show up as my best self, as a spouse and parent. I realized that by meeting my needs, I could more fully meet the needs of my family with more energy and less resentment. In this podcast, I teach parents skills like boundary setting, prioritizing personal needs, communication, and claiming ownership. Just like my clients, you'll be shocked by the improvement in your marriage, parenting, and personal life when you focus on fulfilling your important, unmet needs. Ready to prioritize yourself so you can quit mentally throat-punching people? Then grab those earbuds and head outside, and let's rock and talk. Welcome back to Fulfillment Therapy. Today we have a special guest, Shan Wright, and I am so excited to have you on today, Shan. I've wanted to have you on for a while, but this is the first time we could get together. I immediately was drawn to you, your picture especially. We, Aww. It's so bright, so happy. I'm excited for them to see it. You just seem to have this light that shines, and I cannot wait to pick your brain a little bit today. Do you mind sharing a little bit about yourself and your own podcast? Because you are a fellow podcaster and I'll let you share some of that and then I'll fill in the gaps according to what you say. So if you wouldn't mind jumping right in, that'd be wonderful. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Speaking of podcasting, one thing that has totally caught me off guard is that everyone comments on my energy even through my picture and uh-huh. with my voice. And I, it's one thing I did not know about myself. So if you want some like encouragement or learn something about yourself, go, go jump on a podcast. <laughs> so yeah, speaking of my podcast is called Holistic Moms. Mm-hmm. I am an RN turned stay-at-home mom, then now podcaster wellness coach. So that's how that kind of all came to be. So I love holistic wellness. I love speaking to the body and the mind and the heart and all of that. And I am a mom to four and a wife of 13 years and live here in Indiana. Nice. 13 years. East so- Coast girl. I am an East Coast girl. So were you I- raised on the East Coast? Because Indiana is not really East Coast. <laughs> yep. I'm raised in Delaware. Okay. I mm-hmm. love to shout that fact out and give that to people. A lot of people say, well, I've never been in Delaware and I don't know anyone else from Delaware. So yeah, I don't know that I have. Maybe I have. Do you kind of go through that area if you're going to New York and things like that? I don't know. If Maybe, know. but probably not because it's just a little, little slipper there. That's true. The- I mean, I've done Pennsylvania and all those places, but yeah. I'm not quite sure if I've made it to Delaware. I'm sure it's great though. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, tell me a little bit about Holistic Moms, because like you said, this is your podcast. This is, well, I don't want to put words in your mouth. I know what you've said to me, but I'd like to hear it from you, kind of what got you on that path and what it looks like now and how it feels. Yeah, well, I'll take you back to high school. (laughs) I actually was a good student. I love school. I love learning. And I loved especially learning about the body and how um, God made us. And it was, okay, what are you going to go to school for? Where are you going to go to college? And I had no idea. 
I actually went to a small Christian school. And so I just asked all my teachers, the school nurse, uh, mentors around me and just said, what should I go to school for? Well, they just told me probably something healthcare. And so I went to a small private Christian college for field hockey and then got a nursing degree. So it was like, I went for sports, but it wasn't even like probably the first semester I realized that I was there for a very, like God had me there for a purpose. My being that it's a Christian school, my nursing program was all teaching us holistic wellness. It was, you know, teaching us that we're spiritual beings in human form. We're not human beings and have a spiritual aspect. We are spiritual beings. And really that was the curriculum. Like it was teaching the whole body. And of course we learned medicine and I didn't know any, any different. And then I go into the nursing world and realize that I would just was kind of trained differently. I thought differently. And I really, I had a hard time in the nursing world, just giving out medication and putting band-aids on things. I really love to get to the root problem, the root system and care for a person in that way. And so, but I loved being a nurse. I absolutely loved it. Was a um, inpatient hematology oncology nurse for 10 years. And obviously in that field, regardless of, you know, you don't really teach or care spiritually for a patient when you're taking care of them, but it obviously is holistic. We dealt with a lot of life and death. And so I loved it. And then turned mom and I worked through my first baby. And then my second, I, I just wanted to put it on the back burner. So I put nursing on the back burner and, you know, I really, took me a good year to work on my identity with God because I thought I was just a nurse and had to work on that. And that just led me in my own wellness journey. So up until that point, like I'm what, 32 at this point and I'm like healthy. And I just, I was always caring for others. I never really was caring for my own wellness besides like being active and I mean, I didn't take a vitamin. I I didn't do (laughs) too much for my wellness. And then I struggled with postpartum and actually in pregnancy anxiety um, and having four kids. So it was really the third pregnancy that got me and um, the third postpartum. And I finally was like, I I think I'm going to have a panic attack. Like, I think I'm on the edge. And it was kind of like a freak out moment. What do I do? And uh, luckily I went to God in prayer and he gave me four very simple things to do. And they were holistic. They were not, you know, go get a medication, not even therapy. Like it, there was nothing like hard to do. It was just, well, I'll tell you, it was to spend time with him, to spend time with my husband, go on dates to make girlfriend dates. So connect with my girlfriends and move my body. So four things that I could do in that very overwhelming, scary season of postpartum, I could do these things. They were doable for me. And it was an easy, he knows I'm a doer. He knows I'm a, I love hard work. I love to be diligent. So he knew to give me a list of things. And I know maybe some people it's like, just one thing is good. And, but he gave me four and that's also my favorite number. And I'm a number, love numbers. (laughs) So I just think God's cool. Um, So these four things kind of led me into this holistic wellness journey because I realized they were going to save my mental wellness and they weren't mental necessarily activities. It was the whole person that I was dealing with here. And that just led me on a journey. And then just a few years after that, I just kind of landed into a health and wellness business where then that put me on this journey even more into not like I always thought I'd go back into nursing in some form or fashion, but more like this is nursing for me, being a holistic wellness advocate and just sharing about it with others and sharing about it with moms in particular, that is my nursing. That is me. He didn't make me a nurse. He made me someone who cares about someone's holistic wellness. And then this is how I get to do it now. 
in this season. So that's amazing. I love that story. I actually missed the fourth one. You so you said, let's see if I'm right here. So spend time with God, just go on dates with your friends. Oh, you said dates with your husband and yes. then move your body. Yes. Ooh, I did get them all. Okay. <laughs> I love that. And so you knew that those, well, and God knew that those four steps for you was really what would bring you that whole health. And that helped you in your journey, like really figuring out those next steps for you, even though you may not have, well, it sounds like you didn't know about them initially, where you thought in your mind, yeah, I'd just go down this path of being a nurse, but that's morphed into something even more aligned to who you are and who you want to be, which is a health and wellness advocate. And that's really powerful. Yeah. Did I get that right? Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and it was, it's so cool to look hindsight and say, mm -hmm. well, I was in this holistic uh, nursing program basically. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't necessarily, well, yeah, I needed that. I wanted that experience and knowledge in the nursing world, but it actually is just good for my life and what I'm doing now. And so, yeah, it goes full circle. I, that's very much what my podcast is about. And maybe a through a different lens, like mental health and wellness, but that medical model it, where instead you're just treating those symptoms, like you mm -hmm. said, putting a bandaid on it instead of preventative care. I completely agree. There's something very different about that shift to something holistically where you're looking at the bigger picture and not just like, oh, I have a headache. So I'll just keep taking medicine over and over and over instead of thinking about like, wait a minute, what's causing this headache? Like, yeah. you know, and it, it seems so basic. And yet for a very long time, culturally, we've been just focused on the band-aid. So it's so nice that people are starting to ask why more and exploring that. And that's, that's what fulfillment therapy is all about. And my passion as well. So I love to hear your story and how that has related to your journey and your podcasting. So thank you for sharing that. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about how you've increased your fulfillment in your life and maybe even how you've met some of your neglected needs throughout that process. And especially as it relates to your purpose and your passions in life. Yeah. So, well, obviously in anxiety, I had neglected needs. And that's why it was very simple to be like, okay, you just need to schedule a date with your girlfriends to fulfill this social wellness need that you have, mm -hmm. this need to um, belong and connect and laugh and you that love from someone other than your husband and kids who are supposed to love you. You know, I needed that. And it all it took was a simple phone call to be like, hey, dinner tomorrow, you know? So, yeah. Um, so in my anxiety, it led me to these, I like to call them simple holistic solutions Yeah. to, um, to be intentional with my wellness, to not just, you know, expect things to just go along and to continue to be well. I say wellness is not our default. We are not just well, naturally speaking to the word of shalom and wholeness and wellness, complete wellness, we won't get there until glory. So it's kind of, you know, knowing that there's things in our wholeness that need to be paid attention to and need to be, we need to be focused on and attentive to, and a very like, I don't know, deep person. <laughs> I just like to look at deep meanings and conversations to things. And so as I've worked through my way through anxiety and kind of into a season of four kids and stayed home, um, it was kind of like, let me, well, first I started with this health and wellness business with a natural supplement that actually made my fourth pregnancy be the best out of all of them. And I actually had anxiety my entire pregnancy. It was like my main symptom and postpartum was really rough. It was March, 2020. And so it was really, really rough for a few months. And actually that is when my sister passed away. So I had a sister who was not well mentally and um, that led to some things. And so 
few months into that postpartum, that happened. God gave me the word peace, which, you know, we all want peace in life, but he really was like, I want you to look at this deeply, (laughs) this word peace. And I just found that it connected to holistic wellness, Um, peace, shalom. They're all about, they're both about wholeness and wellness. And it was as I studied peace and where to find it in my life when I felt none, it led me to, I'm going to teach you and show you how to find it. And then I want you to share it. And so it was all about, also about how I am an oversharer and detailed. And (laughs) that's just like part of me. So it was like, I'm teaching you these things so you can share them. And my last few years on this whole season of life and calling and purpose has led to just being sharing things that I'm learning, that I'm learning along my wellness journey, and then sharing with others to encourage and help and inspire and help them in their journey. So just come alongside and take hands and just help others to get through theirs. I love that. Tune in next week for part two, where Shan Wright finishes her inspiring story and teaches us some actionable tips for improving our own holistic health journey. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, chances are someone else would too. Would you take 30 seconds to share this with a friend who's looking for greater family fulfillment? And while you're sharing, tell me what you think about the show by leaving a review on Apple Podcasts. It refuels me when I hear this podcast is helping you, no matter what your house or your hair looks like. I'll meet you back here every Monday and Thursday morning for more episodes. Until then.